thou is firm, Mike. Well, that's the man's price. No, absolutely not. You should know better than that. Yes, I could do that. Or I'll be at your office at 3 o'clock. Right. Yes? Get Harvey on, too, Mrs. Brand. Well, I'll have to call him back. Would you have Susan bring in her book? She isn't here anymore, Mrs. Brand. She and Mr. Ryan had a terrible fight. <laughs> I told him you wouldn't like it, Mrs. Brand. I told him how difficult it is for you to run an agency with your secretary being changed every time he wants a new girlfriend. Male secretary. I don't know how he got in here. Hold my calls, Lillian. Would you come in, young man? Thank you very much. I'm sorry. You may place my calls now, Lillian. And sit down, Tony. Stop hovering. And have Casey come in for a moment, will you? Right. Now, what seems to be your main trouble? Paula, I'm suffering. Do you realize how long I've been out of work? Tony, you're kidding. Your play folded only two weeks ago. Right. And I'm dying. One day my name's in lights, and then the next day, nowheres. You see my name out there anywheres? Nowheres. Baby, your play ran for two years. Paula, you better get me something. I kid you not. Hiya, Smiley. How's it going? Paula, can I wait? I've got some more girls to check out. Well, you can let them all go. I've hired a secretary. You did what? Mm-hmm. I see. Someone like Lillian, I suppose. Oh, not in the slightest like Lillian. As a matter of fact, one of those in the reception room. Oh? Johnson. Johnson. Well, let's uh, pin it down a little. Like, say, um, how old? Oh, uh, well, possibly um, 23 or, or, or maybe 24. Blonde, uh, good-looking, and... Um, Unattached. Well, how about you? I'll be darned. Oh, must I be subjected to this? Well, you didn't have an appointment, darling. Casey, look, I'm up to my ears this afternoon. Would you stop by and pick up True Winslow's contracts at the, the Angel Club? Oh, yes, and leave these off at, at Radio City. Oh, and then look in on, on young Alexander. The reviews were brutal, and he won't come to the phone. Are you out of your mind? His 10% wouldn't get me a shoe shine. Oh, don't be that way. The producers fired him, and I, I'm sticking my neck out, so be sure he's all in one piece. <laughs> yes, Lillian? Well, put him on. So long, pal. It's been lots of laughs. Let me know what happened with Clay, will you? Right. I'm afraid the job's been filled, girls. I'm sorry. Wish I could have hired all of you. Believe me. Who are you, pal? Oh, Johnson, sir. Kenneth Johnson. Oh, did I do something wrong? down in just a jiffy, Mr. Ryan.
Thank you. Shall I have my butler bring us in some coffee? That would be nice, pal. All right. Please, Owen. Uh, cream and sugar? It works. All right. Owen, uh... uh... Relax. You'll be back. I, uh, take it you're new around here. We've only been married a week. It's fun, isn't it? Well, I, I guess so. All these bells, gadgets, butlers, toys. Oh, is that what you mean? I've never had such fun in my whole life. Would you like a drink? much, Owen. Just in time for coffee, sweetie. Feeling better now? What are you doing here, Ryan? Just getting acquainted with your bride, you lucky fellow. Very funny. Oh, we're not married. You've got things all mixed up. Oh, fine. Any way you kids want to handle it. Paula wanted me to drop up and see how you were bearing up. I'm his mother. Well, good for you, pal. She was disappointed and a little concerned because you wouldn't answer the phone. I'm quitting the show, Ryan. You realize what a position this puts Paula in? Tell Paula that I'm sorry, but there's just not a thing in the world I can do about it. You're a pretty casual type, aren't you, pal? The show must go on, all that? That doesn't have any appeal for you? Look, Casey, I have no heart for argument. My father just put me through the paces. I'm a disgrace and a discredit. And all right, I'm pulling out. You think you have an exclusive on bad reviews? You think you're the first actor this ever happened to? I'm the first Alexander to whom it has ever happened. Casey, I'd rather cut off my right arm than let Paula down, but I can't go on that stage again. Please understand it. I just... I just can't. Goodbye, Mother. <laughs> <laughs> 